Now I'm going to show you how precise reading of the Bible elucidates Egyptian history. Two verses. One, a new king of Egypt arose over Egypt who did not know Joseph. How is that possible? I'll tell you. First of all, he's the king of Egypt, not Pharaoh. Pharaoh now moved down here. This is the Egypt district. One of them called Egypt, sort of like New York and New York City. Here is where Pharaoh was, and Pharaoh was Pharaoh over the entire country. This king of Egypt is a nomarch. He only controlled over here. And it's oceans over here. It's a problem. He did not know Joseph. This is years later. And now he has a problem with the Israelites multiplying. He gets the entire country involved in the problem. And here's how. Verse number two. Let us deal shrewdly with them, so that they may not increase. Otherwise, in the event of war, they may join our enemies in fighting against us and rise from the land. What does it mean, rise from the land? It's like we have a problem. The Israelites are multiplying greatly. They're going to join our enemies, and they're going to make war on us. They're going to rise from the land. They're going to go from lower Egypt to upper Egypt. They